Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Switzer Lake in Europe Universalis 4. We've engaged the Venetians. Ferdinand Ugster, who has a, sh a fire advantage. A 3 3 versus a 5 3. That's good stuff. We've got a nice little tiny, tiny. F nope, no flank. Never mind. But we have crazy infantry combat ability, and he is one tech behind, so we have a massive tactics advantage, massive discipline advantage, massive morale advantage. Everything about it's good. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of sit there. Are you? No. I didn't just give up control of the siege, did I? Of course I did. Great. Awesome. Pretty sure I had been there first. Which would have meant that we could have had excellent siege speed. But instead, no. Okay, that's fine. We rolled a nine. Squish. Squish. It's just so disgusting. We're so strong. We will demand payment in full. Excellent excellent money coming in right now. So he has access, which means we have access. So let's go for let's just go for his capital. Actually no, this is inland. So we don't have to worry about the, the fact that we don't have a blockade, we can siege it a lot faster. Oh excellent, he left. That's good. That means we can siege in uh, 21 day ticks now. Yes, go fight someone else. Also, he's about to fall to rebels. Which is fine. The 64-day Siege of Paris is complete. Excellent. We'll go work on Anjou. Supply is not good for Anjou. Let's actually go to Poitou. We could just do both at the same time, actually. Yeah, I think doing two at once is going to be superior. Okay. I love this. Our siege speed is so fast. All of the forts are obsolete to us. Like, everything about it is splendid. Okay, you, sir, can go to... I want to kill his army. It's in the train. It's in good terrain. I kind of need one of the generals, though. I'd, I'd prefer to engage with one of the generals. For now, let's just kind of creep forward. We know where his army is. We'll stack wipe the other army. That's annoying. Once a general becomes available, we'll go after the 20 stack down there, the Venetians. There's no chance France is going to take his capital back. I think we can get away with doing this. He is heading to Barry, so are we. Okay, now we now we really need a leader there. There's a small chance. Tenth. Twenty-one percent chance we can get that, that general to teleport. Or we could just hire another general, or we can make Duke Karl von Kempen into a general. In order to have the free leader. Or we could do it with our heir. Yeah, let's do it with our heir. Our heir's kinda crap anyway, we wouldn't mind if he died. We have 71 army tradition, cross your fingers. A 1-5. 1-3, that's not bad. A little bit low on the fire value at this point, but... Show, you know, prove yourself, Heinrich. Anyone named Heinrich has to perform well. It's, a, it's just a requirement. Okay, now you're going to command this army to go take care of this. Our cheer is up. Every now I mean, they do siege some of my provinces because I, I don't have forts, but... It's okay. Coming in from Namor, so no river crossing. Fighting against the 0-2. He is going to absolutely wreck their faces. So something gets fair laws for 10 years, just national unrest minus 2. Cool. I believe that's a 5 year pulse event. We're almost down to the point where the nobility are no longer loyal, so we're going to have to give them some land soon. We could just do it now. Um, we did just take new land, why don't we just give them one of the provinces we took. And also there's a fort here. 
Get rid of that. It's important, both of them. Um. Actually, that fort was in Tyrol. No, you guys can have this one. It's going to put their influence above 80 again, but... It'll take their share of territory up to 10.5%, which is what they need. Or no, don't they need... They need 15%. Holy crap. We're going to have to give them a bunch of land. Or just ignore them. And let them be disloyal. Well, how much longer is it going to be until some of this nonsense goes away? 86 and 88. 86 is pretty soon. A my my no my no government ruler, Catholic Zealous have risen up in Koblenz. Well the Protestants are still trying to siege this thing down. I actually don't want the Catholic Zealots to succeed, so. We'll deal with that. The burgers are now at influence 68%. Well, that's cool. We totally get some more points out of them right now. no forts down here. That's quite nice. That was quick. Can't cross there. Go for Istria. Somehow I'm able to ignore the zone of control and just march here now. Makes sense. Lost our Inquisitor. I believe this guy is a cheaper guy we had hired before. He's going to be useful. Hire him now. And we can tech up. So we shall. Even though we're trying to finish the idea group, I don't want to lose my ahead of time bonus. And I just... I like, like being ahead of time. Brittany has decided to attack Arm over Armor. That is quite funny. Okay, would you like to leave the war now? We have 27 war score with you. Not quite, huh? Let's wait for maybe some occupied and besieged provinces. That ought to turn him off to the idea of war. Okay, uh, this army can get started on that siege. Eighty-five day siege of Normandy. That's cool. Let's go work on Morbihan. We've already taken Anjou, which means we can start to split up. Brittany is allied to Aragon. Did he call him in? He did. Oh man. France is done. GG France. Now, okay, who else is in the war? We got Flanders, who I want to peace out for war reps. He's willing to give that to me right now. Okay, we'll let him out. We'd like to peace out Venice for the same. We need to improve relations with Brabant some more. He's not willing to peace out because he still has an army. But we could, we could totally peace out with uh, France right now. Easily. Let's reconsolidate these four. Uh, Aragon, of course you can have access. Liege, yeah, sure. The Pawnee have declared independence. So either we smash the Venetian army, or he's not willing to peace out.
Okay, we have a pending disaster. And they are losing loyalty. See, what's weird is here it shows that it's going to go up by 0.08% every month, even though they have less land than they're supposed to. This might actually knock them out if Aragon kills his army. No, he's still stubborn. Okay, um, so Brabant, like, how can I get you up to... Ugh. I can't get you to 100. Not without an alliance or something. Yeah, let's just not do that. Diplomat's dead? Um, still gonna pay for the better relations over time, guy. Too many diplomats free at the moment. I don't think we're gonna actually be sieging or like, like taking any other land right now. So we'll take all your money, we'll take your war reps. Don't really care about your alliance too much. Alright, we're going to hold off till we can take all this money. You're going to insist that I kill this last army, aren't you? You just want every single army to die. Okay. So we're pissed at all Um. Now keep in mind we can't uh, we can't finish this war until the cores are done because of unlawful territory, but that's gonna be very soon. It's accepted culture group, so there we go. That ought to do it for Venice. Yep, he's out. Okay. Supply there is fine, and that means we can peace out France in a week. Good stuff. We take our two claims, we take his money, we probably take war reps. More money is always useful, right? And then other than that, I don't really care about anything else. We don't need to humiliate him. I guess we could. There's plenty of other people that I'm going to be able to attack, right? We've got Bohemia, we've got Austria that we need to eat, um, there's... Uh, Ulm. So, like, I'm not gonna be... I'm, I'm gonna be capped by aggressive expansion. So, we're just gonna... Yeah, we'll take the Humiliate. We'll take the 15-year truce. It's fine. Okay, aggressive expansion's up there now. 74. It's getting up there. Austria still has a truce with us until a long time from now. So, he doesn't matter. We'll, of course, delete the fort in Paris, because screw that. Bohemia is suddenly no longer valid. So, never mind. We're not gonna attack Bohemia very much. Or likely ever. We can convert some provinces. We will start coring though first. It's gonna be fine. Look at that, we actually have war exhaustion. Weird. Yumi has rivaled the Ottomans. We are not embargoing the Ottomans. We should be. Okay, we'll wait one month, let our aggressive expansion, or sorry, war exhaustion go down to zero. We don't need maintenance right now. The unrest in Paris is only 6.2, so that's pretty good. Um, still have crap legitimacy. It's, been a, it's gonna stay crap for a long time as well. We have provinces with unrest. So you guys are all gonna take care of these. Leonie. You can move to Montferrat. You can move to Cremona. I guess we'll keep our maintenance up for now. 
That's quite a few provinces with unrest. Also, one thing I noticed, your uh, tolerance of heathens is capped at three. It can't go higher than, sorry, tolerance of heretics is capped. We have plus four minus 0.55. So we have like too much by 0.45. So one of these decisions that we could take here would barely hurt us at all. I think, I think we will take it. And that's going to put our tolerance just slightly lower. You know, we, we basically gained one missionary strength at the cost of 0.6 tolerance. And the tolerance doesn't even matter because we have perfect religious unity. So we actually don't even really need this. So hell, let's just, let's just do this now. As well. Big deal. Religious unity went down to like, from 125 down to 122. And, uh, now that it's January, we'll start coring. It's gonna be a while. So, on the docket, people to kill. First off, we want to integrate Trier. We want to start fabricating claims on Austria, I think. So we'll start with Augsburg. Meanwhile, the estates are disloyal. Who's upset? Still the nobility. They're still not that low. This this should really show that it's actually ticking down. Like, it says here you're losing 0.25 each month. And here we're gaining 0.08 each month. So, they should add those two together and show you that you are losing loyalty. We're at 42.9. At the end of this month, we will go down. See? 42.9 down to 42.7. But it doesn't say it in this tooltip. It says it in this tooltip, but it's like... This is the loyalty tooltip. This is where you would expect to see loyalty modifiers, right? I'm not crazy. How are we looking on accepted culture? So, in order to make that other culture accepted, we need to core it. One of these days, we're going to have good legitimacy. It's going to be awesome. 41 months to convert Paris. I bet Paris gets converted by somebody else. Reform Zealots in Salzburg. They're going to win. Nope, Austria's going to help out. So it'll be a while. I mean, I've got all this conquest plan, and we still need to finish this humanist idea group right now. Like, that's the one of the next most important things. Actually, even more important than getting the core done, I think, is getting this next idea. We needed to get the aggressive expansion from doing the expansion, but we don't actually need to do the core, if that makes any sense. What if there's somebody that we could release? No one else has a core here. I could, I could do that. At this point, it would cost me points though, because we're already more than ten percent complete. So I kind of messed up there, but yeah, releasing Dolphin. We could have had a vassal. No one else's core on Ulm, right? I didn't think so. Well, we could just attack Ulm and vassalize them. That's one way to save some admin points for right now. And it allows us to get to war right now. Let's see what your alliance, alliance chain looks like. Papal State, a couple little derps up here. Pretty straightforward, easy war. Park an army on the border of this guy. Cheers our vassal, so we could park an army on the border of that guy. Did this get converted to Protestant? No, it's still reformed. I guess the Protestant zealots aren't really doing much, are they? You know what? It's because he's Protestant. Rebels of your own religion can't convert. They can't convert your land anymore. Because they found it, they thought that it was an exploit. Hey, excellent vintage. Wow, that's a lot of reduced unrest that we have right now. National unrest minus 3.9%. Fair laws, excellent vintage. You can also see that number here.
So we just need one of these armies down here to take care of the Papal State, who we border, which would make it pretty easy. I like this idea. You want me to convert Rethel? What do you want me to convert? Convert Lyonne. Well, I do want to take this. We can start integrating Trier. I don't expect him to ever really do anything, so... One diplomatic power per month. That's pretty slow. Probably because of our negative diplomatic reputation. Annexed subjects expires when? In 90. Let's just wait six years on that. So yeah, we'll go to war right now. Don't care about the Emperor. Stack wipey. Stack wipe. Go. There's the Papal States Army. He's gonna come in through the mountains. Probably just keep marching. Let's go to here, and hopefully we can cut him off in Montferrat. Hopefully he doesn't stay in the mountains. Instant squishes on these two guys. Instant squish on Ulm. Might as well convert Rethel. Also, um... Yeah, we like our ideas. They're good. Our church stuff. He's moving into Albenga. So he's avoiding the flat terrain for now. I'd like to have a leader for this guy. Six, six, three, two, two. We love it. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna attack you in the hills. You have two maneuver. We have two maneuver. We have river crossing from Cuneo and Montferrat. We can come in from Genoa. Let's try that. Bohemia has joined. Oh, right. I, for I totally forgot that the Emperor would be able to call in his allies. So we're fighting a few extra people. Big deal. Not scared of anyone. Okay, I'm gonna take a break here. But we're going to smash faces. Okay, now he is moving to the flat terrain there. Excellent. Akin's out. Force religion, war reps, go. Right, I'll see you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. See you soon.